What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and we are here for another position outlook for your favorite team, my favorite team, and your mom's favorite team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And today, we are breaking down is the running back position. Now, I'm sure this video is going to be a lot shorter than the last two videos because we don't really have a whole lot of committee to talk about here. We do have Leonard Fournette, Raquel Armstead, and Chris Thompson to talk about. But Chris Thompson and Raquel Armstead, I really don't think we got to spend a whole lot of time talking about. This really is going to be Leonard Fournette's team for now the fourth year in a row. And this is going to be Leonard Fournette's final year on his contract. Will he remain a Jaguar? Will he go to free agency? We'll also touch on that a little bit in this video. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars 2020 position outlook for the running backs. So first of all, I want to talk about Raquel Armstead a little bit. We talked about Raquel Armstead last year, and, you know, we didn't really have high expectations for Armstead. Um, and, you know, we really shouldn't have. You know, we were really high on uh, Leonard Fournette to kind of come back and play good football, and he really did. You know, and when we start talking a little bit more about Leonard Fournette, you know, I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent on how I don't think Leonard Fournette is getting enough respect around the league, and I don't think he's getting enough respect amongst Jags fans either. And uh, Raquel Armstead, though, I think he filled his role. You know, he was a good special teams guy, and when he came in to play, I think he played well. You know, obviously, in that infamous Gardner Minshew play when he dodged all those tacklers in the Denver game, he was on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Gardner Minshew. And, you know, whether you want to give all the credit to Minshew, uh, Raquel Armstead still found a way to get open into the end zone, and uh, he still made a play. But uh, Raquel Armstead, you know, he's not going to be a huge factor in the Jacksonville Jaguars offense, and I don't expect him to, and that's never going to be what you expect uh, Raquel Armstead to be in a running back committee that has a guy like Leonard Fournette and, you know, now has a veteran guy in Chris Thompson, especially with, you know, Jake Vrunen at the helm, a guy that, you know, used to coach Chris Thompson. And Chris Thompson is also very excited to go to work with Jay Gruden as well. So I don't expect Raquel Armstead to be doing much on the offensive side of the ball. I expect him to be doing, you know, more on the special team side of things, you know, kind of going back to what he did last year and kind of contributing that way, you know, kick off, kick return, punt, things like that. Um, I don't see him seeing the field too much on uh, offensive snaps. I think that's going to be more of Fournette and Thompson sharing those kind of roles, you know, sharing those carries. And still, I think Leonard Fournette is still going to get, you know, a big, big majority of those carries. Fournette is still a big three down back uh, for the Jacksonville Jaguars, in my opinion. And he's still going to be a big vocal point of this offense. And he's still going to have to get going if this offense is going to succeed in 2020 but Chris Thompson is still a running back uh that if he can get going he can stay healthy you know and he gets into the role that we need him to where you know he comes in on third downs he comes in when Leonard Fournette gets tired he could play a big role almost kind of like a TJ Yeldon Corey Grant role where you know he has an opportunity to be successful he's played in Jay Gruden's system before he knows you know the kind of stuff Jay Gruden wants to run and Chris Thompson and Jay Gruden you know are really close off the field as well so this is a great addition to the Jacksonville Jaguars running back room and I think it could help the Jaguars out a lot and I think it could help out you know Leonard Fournette as well you know trying to get the hang of Jay Gruden's playing style get used to Jay Gruden's playbook as well you know without a doubt uh, Leonard Fournette is going to be the bell cow of this offense but, you know, Chris Thompson could give Leonard Fournette, you know, some pointers as far as the playbook goes. You know, try to get used to what Jay Gruden is running as far as his offensive scheme goes and as far as, you know, his offensive play calls go. And I really think Chris Thompson being around could really benefit Leonard Fournette. And Chris Thompson also is very, very useful in the pass game as well. He's a great pass catching back. So, you know, on key third down and six situations, a key dump off by Gardner. Uh, you know, let Chris Thompson try and get those five, six yards out of the backfield. And I think Chris Thompson can do that for you. But um, now let's get into, you know, really what I want to do. And let's talk about Leonard Fournette. Now, there are split people on Leonard Fournette. You're either on one side of the fence or you're on the other. Leonard Fournette did really, really well last year. Exclude 2018 because he was injured and so many circumstances. 
but include 2019, include 2017, and this guy was and is what this offense runs through. Whether you like it or not, Leonard Fournette is the bell cow of the Jacksonville Jaguars offense. And no matter what I said yesterday about how electric this wide receiver core is, and no matter how much potential these wide receivers have, this offense still runs through Leonard Fournette. And without a doubt in my mind, this offense will continue to run through Leonard Fournette. And Leonard Fournette still has the ability to have an offense be run through him. If you look at the work and the work ethic that he put in last year to get better, to master his craft, to be an all-around back, look at what he did. The major knock on him heading into 2019, this guy doesn't do anything in the receiving game. What did he do? He was third on the team, second or third in the team in receiving yards. Like, this guy, it was either in receiving yards or receptions. Like, this guy did everything you asked him to, to be a more productive all-around running back, and yet the fans still hate on this guy. For what? For what? This guy goes up against more stacked boxes than any running back in the National Football League. And he can still average 4 yards a carry. He can still get 100 yard, t- 100 yard games. And he can still blow over your best defender. This guy is an elite 3-down running back. But no one wants to open their mouth and openly say it. For what reason? Why are you scared? Is he not a thousand yard running back? Is he not a 400 yard receiving back? Is he not a guy that can do it in the pass game and in the run game? Is he not? Is he not a guy that can do both? Is he not? Did he not prove that he can do that last year? Did he not? I'm sitting here with both my hands up like, did he not? Like... I understand next year is a year where he's going to go into free agency. And there are so many running backs next year that are going to be going into free agency. And the running back position in the NFL is a position that is extremely, extremely expendable. But I got mad love for Leonard Fournette. I always will, always have. Will the Jaguars extend Leonard Fournette? I really don't know. Because there's so many guys. You know, you'd like the Alvin Kamaras, the Joe Mixons, like all those guys are going to be free agents. Will the Jaguars try and get a big name like that? I don't know. But if they're not, and they're trying to get a guy that they can afford, Leonard Fournette. Because Leonard Fournette is going into a free agency class where he can't ask. Dude, he's got to know his worth. Like, I know if you go based off of his Twitter, like, there's no way in hell. Like, he's going to, you know, not be asking for a lot of money, but... There has to come a time, like, during the offseason next year, where Leonard's going to have to realize, like, yeah, (laughs) I'm a solid back, but I'm not, like, an Alvin Kamara back. Like, I know I just went on a tangent talking about how he's this good back, and he is. Because, you know, you look, look, let's look at some guys here. Let me, let me tell you what I'm saying here. Because I know what you guys are going to be saying in the comments. You know, you're sitting here talking about how we're bish, bashing on Leonard. And, you know, you just said he could do it all. And now you're saying he's not worth the money. Let me tell you this. And all these other running backs are worth the money. Let me tell you this. Leonard Fournette is like a Frank Gore. Leonard Fournette is like... A Frank Gore. <laughs> Frank Gore is like a good comparison. Frank Gore is not necessarily a pass, catch, a pass catching back, but he can. But he's a reliable back that can do it all and will face stack bosses, boxes all the time. But he can go from team to team and keep doing it year in and year out. But he did it for the Niners for a good time until, you know, he got older and he had to go do it and, you know, hop from team to team. I hope he can stay with the Jags, and I hope that, you know, we could be like his, you know, he could be Frank Gore, and we could be his Niners, and we could reach the playoffs, and he could, you know, be the bell cow of our offense for years to come, but like, you know, he's not gonna be getting paid 
the amount of money that guys like Alvin Kamara are going to set, guys like Joe Mixon are going to set. It's going to be such an interesting free agency class because there's so many young running backs that are going to be setting that bar extremely, extremely high. But Leonard Fournette is just lost in the shuffle, and he's going to have to have an excellent 2020 campaign, which I think he has potential to do. And if he does, and if he does, then Dave Godwell is going to have to empty his checkbook if he's going to want him in 2021 because that's the bar. You know, it's it comes down to which one of these young running backs is going to have the best season and who's going to get paid the most and who's going to set that bar. Will it be Leonard Fournette? I don't know. But Leonard Fournette cannot afford to get hurt. Leonard Fournette cannot afford to have a bad season. So by all means, Leonard Fournette is going to need to go off and Leonard Fournette is going to have to have one hell of a 2020, and I think he can do it. And that was my Jaguars 2020 position outlook for the running backs. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks, or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.